Hello viewers, welcome back to the Smart Exceller. This video is a probably after a long time. So this is what I'm going to show you in this file, Excel file. I want to copy all the names. So copying each name will be like if you do manually, you have to copy this open the file and you can paste this. So in this way you can copy each and every name. But this is time consuming. So we can do something called smart work. So here you can see that you can copy up to in the Excel database with a smart work. It supports supports up to 27 file at once and you need an office outlook to be installed. So this is the name. If I were to do manually, you can see each and everything I have to go re go to rename, then I have to copy this, then come here, and then I have to paste it one by one. So the easy and the simple way is just select all all the files. You can do a control A. This leave this file because this is the same Excel file we are going to paste. So now you have to do the right click and do send to mail recipient. So you should have an Outlook, Office Outlook installed. So when you do an uh, Outlook, it is asking for attachments. So you can see that the, it, uh, the Outlook is taking in process. So now it is taken in process and you can see Outlook has been opened. But the files over here are already there. So the best thing about this is you can copy this segment copy and you can come to Excel and here you can paste this so you have seen that now if you want you can convert this into a filter or A to Z whatever you can so whatever extra lines you can remove it So this way you can do this for small files but in case if you have big files and the lengthy names I'm going to show you how to do that also uh, with the, some files which cannot be installed in Outlook. So now you can discard this also. So you can discard Outlook because now it's not required actually. So all the names are there. So it can support up to 27 files at one shot. So in my next video, I will be showing you how to do the same thing in big large files where Outlook is not supported. So there's different tricks on that and we can do uh, text to columns and in Power Query also how to do the splitter option. So till then take care and be safe and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. So see you in the next video. Thank you.